Okay, guys, so my day's just starting. Um, it is, it's 10.59 so far, uh, so it's almost 11, but it's 10.59 technically. Finally was able to get up and get my feeds hooked up and everything, and my machine is beeping at me. It, it wouldn't prime, first off. And that's beeping at me in a way that it never has before. I've never gotten this message before. I'm kind of freaked out that it says to please call tech support, but I'm not going to call tech support. I'm going to figure it out. I probably just, <sighs> hopefully that, Usually when it gets dislodged, it just gets dislodged. So let's hope that's it. Let's hope we don't have to contact this company because guess what? They're not open on the weekends. <sighs> All right. This is the day the Lord has made. I'm still rejoicing in being glad in it, but I'll be a lot gladder once I've turned this beeping off. See y'all later. Well, as you could imagine, that was scads of fun. I ended up just turning it off and turning it back on. Oh, the novelty of that idea. You ever heard that with electronics before? Because... It usually works and uh, yeah I don't know what happened I think there was I think the wires were just like like it wasn't a kink so it wasn't showing that message but I think they had like I think they were like not exactly in the pump as they should have been so I double checked that fixed that made sure everything was secure in the bag see my Colpex over there of course I'm actually still working on editing my reaction video footage to Revival album. Now by the time you see this, it will have already been up. The, this is the third vlog on which I'm going to be behind as far as editing and uploading because this video I've been editing for almost 24 hours except for the time last night when I had been working on it for so long I passed out apparently with my um, wedge pillow here with Final Cut Pro open on my lap on my laptop in the middle of editing and Raj I have no recollection of this. I woke up at 1.36 a.m. and I thought, wait a second, what's going on? Because I had my headache hat on, the one that I wear at night, which is um, black and about that wide and it has different little sections that has little cold things in it that's really nice for acupressure type stuff. Um, I had that on, which I knew I didn't have the last time I saw him last night when because he had gone in to watch TV while I was still going to be editing the my reaction video. And I had all of my bedtime cold packs, as we call them, which throughout the day we have the ones we exchange, but there are are um, two more that we had at bedtime, which is the headache cat and a really, um, a, and a gray one that's made out of clay. And that's just so we can get me through the night without having to get up and change again. And usually it works. And my, my larger ones like this are able to kind of be a cooler, so I'll lay them on top of the smaller ones. But anyway, I woke up at 1.36 a.m., and I thought, oh, I have my headache hat on. And then I realized I was lying down flat. So Roger had moved my wedge pillow for me. Um, <clears throat> I assumed because it was down in the corner of the bed where I keep it at night when I'm not using it. And uh, I realized I was still underneath my mini blanket and not under my actual sheet and comforter. And I still had my bed sore pillow that I was on, which was covered by my blanket, so he couldn't have seen it when he came in to, to get me ready for the night. But apparently he came in and asked me, you know, you want me to move your pillow? You want me to get your bedtime cold packs? Apparently, I asked him this morning, and apparently I said, mm-hmm, yeah, 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 okay. No recollection whatsoever. But I guess that means my body was getting to sleep it needed after being awake the previous night slash morning till 3.30 after I finally got in bed filming my reaction video that I'm still working on editing. So that was, that was a little funny to, to wake up to that at 1.36, but thankfully I was able to wake up and then go ahead and take my nighttime meds, which I didn't take at that time, because I, like, like I said, no recollection, I definitely wasn't there enough to take my meds. So I took them at 1.36 and thankfully I was able to sleep until almost 7, so that's the best sleep as far as amount of sleep that I've gotten in a long time. I'm still pretty worn out right now, just still catching up from the doctor's appointments and going out at midnight and all of that. But it was just a funny way to wake up to realize that he had done all that and I had no recollection of it until I asked him about it this morning. Oh, I still have no recollection of it, but he told me about it. All right, well, we'll take you all along and see what the rest of the day brings. All right, guys, so earlier we realized that Yesterday, I don't know if I said this on the vlog yet or not. I may have. Apparently, I like completely crashed last night, and Roger was uh, putting me in. Like he came into the Roger came into the bedroom and asked me if I don't even know what you asked me. 
I asked like, you several things. <laughs> like what? You'll find out later what you've agreed to. I just... No, I'm, you didn't uh, agree to anything. Okay. I just would ask her questions like, Good. well, she's sleeping, and she go, eh. Ah, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, do you, want, do you want me to... Have you taken your medicine yet? No. Ah. Mm -hmm. Did I take my medicine? Did you take I, I don't know. Any? I didn't give you any medicine. Okay, so then I didn't take... Shoot, I was, I was hoping I didn't take it twice, and like when... Because no. I took it when I woke up at 1.36. Okay. And I was yeah. scared that you had take gotten no, me. I, didn't, I, I, wasn't gonna, that. I, I wasn't going to give you anything. I figured if you were sleeping naturally, I was just going to let you sleep. Yeah. So. Hey, wouldn't that be awesome for you to sleep on top medicine? Mm. I love to sleep on medicine. What's it like to sleep on medicine? That's pretty good. You wake up sometimes. But. Okay, anyway. Yeah. Or what, what I was getting ready to say. We realized earlier um, that because of that last night, we forgot to do... Advent calendars! <laughs> okay. <laughs> All tangled up there. Tangled up, tied up, and wrapped up in your love. Shout out, Shannon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're doing days 15 and mm -hmm. 16, since Easy. we did not do it yesterday. That is a snowman's head. Is that your 15? Let me see. Yeah, that's totally a snowman's head. Yep. Frosty head. Frosty That sounds like an insult. Or, or that sounds like uh, somebody hair. talking about somebody with gray hair. Frosty hair. Or frosty head. Let's see what we have here. Becca has... Hey, I have a snowman too. I'll bite the frosty head off. <laughs> if you're supposed to. <laughs> oh, well, the head goes first. But I'm not going to do it yet because we still have to open it. I'm going to use a paper towel to put mine yeah. on. So I can't Number 16. Uh-oh, oh, I dropped it. Um, no guessing. It is a Santa hat. Yay, Santa. Must be Santa. Must be Santa. Must be Santa. Santa Claus. You know all the songs. My mom was a music teacher. Oh, I'm Cindy Jackson's daughter. Of course, I know all the songs. Yeah. All right. Hold on. And I got, on day 16, um... Um... Uh, I think it's <laughs> like look. a, uh... Is it something on here? Chocolate covered strawberry or something? I don't, I don't know. With like cupcake with it, but then there's like a bow on it. It's not a present though. No, strawberries have the little things. Yeah, but that's very weird shaped at the at the bottom. I don't see anything on here that it could be. Um, Look on the back. Flip this over. Nope, none of that stuff. Maybe it's just it's maybe delicious. Maybe. Anyway, there it is, in case you're wondering why we're confused. That's what we're trying to figure out what it is. Put your guesses below if you'd like. So, those are days 15 and 16. Wanted to do it since we actually, uh, we did a speed round a couple nights ago. Last night, all that happened and we forgot. So, at least we gotta take time and do it today. Yeah, so it's been a fairly, I don't know, what would you say? uneventful day not as far as like you haven't not like not like you haven't done stuff because he's been like doing all the laundry and all the dishes in the world today <clears throat> and i haven't been able to do much i did get my reaction video edited and uploaded and i'm working on playing vlog catch up because i am very very back -blogged. by the way i submitted that word to urban dictionary so let's see if they approve it because i think there's no way in the world that I'm the only daily vlogger that loses track and can't and like feels like they're just scrambling to pay, play catch up on their vlogs. Backlog is a word. Why wouldn't back vlog be a word for the vlogs that you post that you like, you know, you run out, you, you film every day, but then you miss a day that you can't upload. So then you've got two days you have to upload and catch up. And so you get backlogged. You get backlogged or your, those are your back vlogs. Yeah. So I submitted to Urban Dictionary tonight, actually. We'll see if anything comes of it. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, well, that's it. it. Other than, oh, yeah, like I said, Roger did a bunch of stuff around the house. He had good brunch out at Bob Evans this mm. morning. So he did have some, some uh, out-of-the-house time a little bit this morning. Some good brunch with himself time. Sometimes it's just good to go out to eat by yourself or do something alone. I mean, obviously... We would love to be able to go do things together, but we're also both introverts, so it doesn't really bother us to sometimes do things by ourselves. And other than that, we've just been around the house today. Oh, um, Kentucky one, West Virginia one. Well. Well, it was an exhibition, but it still counts. 
I'm old. It actually, it actually doesn't count. Question, so it doesn't count. It doesn't count. <laughs> but um, that was intentional that it doesn't count. But anyway, they won. So it still counts morality-wise. Hmm. Well, they Okay, so they said in the Kentucky game, the commentator, I don't know if you heard him at the very end, he said, um, Virginia Tech didn't come looking for a moral victory today. They came looking for a victory. But they, at least they showed up well or something like that. Yeah. So it's moral victory in sports. Who wants a moral victory in sports? Yeah, like, there's not a column for that. No, you want them in life, but sports, eh, nah. Buzzer, next. Okay, well, that's all I got for tonight, guys. I'm going to take my meds, flush and rinse my extension, and we'll see you tomorrow. Night.